common criteria 1.2 and the SOC 2 trust services criteria has to do with the board demonstrating independence from management and overseeing the activities of the organization. As an auditor, we're going to look for a board that contains members that are objective and can independently oversee what the organization is doing. If you are seeking to comply with various regulatory rules, if you are conducting audits, if you're concerned about information security, which involves IT, the board can't be separate from that. They can't say, oh, we have nothing to do that. There should at least be reporting that's going to the board to inform them of what's occurring so that they can perform the proper oversight and governance for your entity. One of the common questions that we get is, what if our organization doesn't have a formal board of directors? Maybe there's just one owner. We're a small organization and it's a family owned business and the board is really the CEO and the CFO. Or maybe it's just one individual who's the individual owner of the organization. That's okay in this situation because we look at things from the size and complexity of your organization. If you're structured in that way, when we ask you questions about the board of directors, we're really just referring to ownership, the people who have the vested interest in making sure that the organization is meeting their obligations and that they are conducting business in a way that the owner expects them to.